What can the rocks tell us about Glacier National Park's formation? Have your students visit stations where they can try to mimic the forces that created the landscape that we see in Glacier today. Have students partially inflate a garbage bag. Lightly tie off the end so that no air can escape. Lay it flat on a table and slowly pour sand into the center of the bag. Note how the weight of the sediment causes the surrounding areas to rise. Facilitate a discussion on how this type of deposition on the shallow seafloor might affect surrounding areas. Take a stack of felt squares and begin to lay them in successive layers on a tabletop. Facilitate a student discussion of the sediments that make up material for mountain building. Next, push the layers together as far as you can. This is a model of how mountains can be formed by folding. Imagine the amount of force required to fold rocks in glacier. Have students make a short stack of squares out of a light material such as foam or balsa wood. Next, push these squares together. This is a model of fault blocking dynamics when harder materials are compressed by plate tectonics. Have students stack together blocks like they were building a wall using two longer blocks at the bottom. Pull the blocks apart slowly until the upper layers collapse into the gap. Facilitate a student discussion on the concept of rifting. Can they find examples in the park? Glacier's rocks tell a unique story of the tremendous forces of geological uplift, mountain building, and overthrust events that provided the foundation of Glacier's natural beauty. The preservation of this park ensures that this story is kept secure for future generations. Thank you.